If you always find yourself in the creative part stuck with no content ideas, I've been there before. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to never run out of content ideas. Content creation can seem a chore and seem so overwhelming, especially when you do not know how to generate content ideas. I'm going to be showing you how I come up with endless content ideas. No limit. Trust me, you're going to have so many ideas by the end of today's video. So get your pen and your paper. Class is in session. <laughs> Hi darlings, it's Danielle here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're already here, I appreciate you for sticking with me. You're a real one. And if you're new here, you're welcome to join the family. If this is your first time seeing me, I'm Danielle, a content creator based in Nottingham. And on this channel, we talk about fashion, lifestyle, content tips, and everything in between. And if that is your vibe, then subscribe. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I come up with endless content ideas. So grab your pen, notepad, get a snack because you're going to dive into strategies in which you can get content ideas so you never have to run out of things to post ever again. One way to generate content ideas is to share your personal stories or experiences. As humans, we create authenticity and you creating content about your personal stories and experiences is a way to generate authentic content that would keep your audience glued to their screens. Whether it was a challenge that you overcame, whether it was something that you became victorious in, if you want to share your wins, share them. If you want to share struggles, do share them. Trust me, when people can relate with content like that, that is how they know they are really bonding with you and they're really connecting with you. This is one way to increase your engagement, especially when you want to build a community. So do not shy away from sharing your own personal stories and experiences because we do a lot when it comes to upping up your engagement and building you that tight-knit community of people that truly trust, love and care about you. One way I personally do this is by sharing my journey as a creator, how I got into content creation, how I got started and where I am now. People would like to see what you've been through and what keeps you going. So when you share things like that, it helps them learn and it even inspires them to as well. That is one thing I love to do every now and then to build that connection between me and my audience. Another way to generate content ideas is by literally asking your audience what they want to see from you. You might think you have to carry this whole burden of creating content on your own, but listening to your audience really helps when you want to get content ideas. There are so many tools that you can use to interact with your audience to get feedback from them on how your content is performing so that you can use that to inform the content you're going to create. You can use polls, you can use the care you can use quizzes you can use the Q&A box to ask your audience so that they can give you input on what they want to see from you a couple of you might think putting up a question box and people ignoring it is very discouraging and you are not going to get content ideas from that but trust me if you really want to know what your community wants from you go and check your comment section the people that want to see things from you are commenting what they want to see they're probably asking you about something that you talked about or something that they saw that they want you to expand on so you can use that as an opportunity and build off it to create more content one way you can do this and it's also a great way to boost an already existing video content piece that you have is by responding to comments with videos that is one way i interact with my audience and then i also get content ideas from that anytime I'm stuck I go check my comment section and see what people were asking about or see the things that I can create content about based on the comment section that is why platforms like Instagram TikTok have the reply to comments feature where you can reply directly to a comment on your post with a video and this makes it much more interesting because you now have the ability to link the very content that you're about to make to the previous content and this creates bingeable content because if someone comes across the response you made to that comment they would have to go and watch the previous video to really get the context of the whole thing and this gives you much more engagement now wouldn't you want that so that is also a strategy you can use to get much more content ideas by already responding to existing comments and then also listening to what your community wants to see from you so that you can use that to inform your content. 
do your research it's very important to research when you want to find out what kind of content to create now thanks be to god there is AI to take up all of the stress of trying to come up with content ideas. I know most of us are familiar with ChatGPT. ChatGPT is a very strong tool if you want to be able to write content and if you know how to write specific prompts. Now, the thing with ChatGPT is that if you do not want generic answers, you need to be specific about what kind of content you want to see. If I want to get content ideas about a particular topic, I would input this prompt right here in ChatGPT would be much more specific about the response they're going to give to me so they don't give me something random that everybody can just come up with anytime any day so you can use ai to help generate content ideas other resources that are very helpful are google trends answer the public reddit corrupt are resources in which you can do your research to find out what the hot topics are so that you can be able to create content out of those things another one that people will look most of the time at the search bars of the platforms that we are using one one platform whose search bar is really helpful when you're trying to do your research to find out what's really trendy and what you can create content about is the tiktok search bar whenever you want to create content about something type that keyword into the tiktok search bar and a lot of videos are going to come up and it's going to give you ideas on what kind of content to create or what people want to see or what questions people are asking about that specific topic and this will help you create content concerning those topics that would be much more interesting to people that want to see content of the sort now closely related to this point is trend spotting I do not advise always jumping on trends as a creator, but it has its benefits, so I will talk about it. It has its pros and cons. If you really want to build a community, you don't want your content to be all about trends, all right? You want to have some of your own original content. And even if you want to jump on a trend, make sure you are adding your own twist to it. If you're able to spot trends, that would really help. A platform like TikTok, where most trends start, is one way for you to start spotting trends that are going to now roll over onto Instagram. So if you want to be the first and see what's happening before it even becomes viral or something that is hot and you want to jump on it, that is one way you can also spot trends. Another way to also spot trends is you spot things making rounds and when you spot things gaining a lot of traction. Try and see how you can put your own twist on it. Do not copy directly because that does not make you unique in any way. That is how you can stand out and then also build a community of your own by leveraging a trend that is already popular. So trend spotting is also one way to get content ideas. But do not make it a habit of always making your content be trends trends. That doesn't make you stand out. That doesn't help you build a community. That would that might make you go viral but it will help you attract an audience that don't really care about what you do so do make sure that trends are not what all your content is about even better start your own trend why don't you create original content so that you can be the trendsetter and then people can now start recreating your content that is an even better way to gain traction and then increase your engagement and more so build a community that way you're still staying true to yourself and not just jumping on every single trend you see around. Show your process. One thing that you can get a lot of content out from is by showing your process, showing the behind the scenes, show how you do things. Literally taking videos or documenting what you do and even how you do it is going to help people really understand how you're able to come up with things if you're a creator you can film behind the scenes of how you film content you can film behind the scenes of how you go about things your day-to-day -day activities it would shock you how the mundane things are very interesting to some people so do not think this is not instagram worthy enough or this is not good enough for me to post no you do not know what is going to do well and what's not going to do well. Trust me, I do know there are certain cases where some kind of content does perform. But you cannot tell what is going to perform every single time, especially when you haven't posted or experimented with all the kind of content types that you know. So do show your process, show behind the scenes, film little bits of your day-to-day -day activities. And if you do think you want to share it, 
do not be shy do not hold it back do share it it will shock you the number of things that i didn't think was interesting enough for my audience that i posted about that people were like wow this is interesting or even did well and even performed well and it had this connection with my audience so do post your content do share your process show behind the scenes of how you do whatever you do it's also one form of content you can share with your audience now to the next point we have competitor analysis now this is basically looking at what is happening in your niche in your field or what other creators are doing and seeing what you can add to it most of the time when there is content out there in a particular niche or field there might be something that might be missing and what you have to do is to find out that thing and then add it to your content so that it now becomes a new piece of content that you can put out there because what you don't want to do is to copy directly what they are doing that is not the point of competitor analysis i wouldn't be giving you advice but i would say look at what other creators are doing and copy them no if you do look at what other creators are doing and they inspire you that is great let it help you do something different it can be the same thing, but you should put your own twist on it. That is what is going to make you stand out. And trust me, directly copying what somebody's doing or trying to steal their strategy or whatever they did to make a particular video work does not mean it's going to happen the same way for you. The results they get might not necessarily be the same results you are going to get. Know your audience, understand what you are doing, and put your own twist or spin on things. And that is how you are going to be able to come up with true organic content. I do understand there is nothing new under the sun. I mean, there's a lot of content that has already been created. So many people are recreating it all over again and again. But what makes you unique is your personality and how you deliver the content. Content. The content might be the same, but the delivery might not be the same. So your delivery is what is going to make you stand out. Your delivery is what is going to set you apart from the millions and billions of creators that are creating that same piece of content. Your personality is what is going to make you unique and is what is going to attract to your community and the people that truly love and care about what you are doing. So instead of just doing competitor analysis or learning from other creators and trying to copy what they are doing, try and figure out what they missed in their content or what you feel you can add to their content to make it even better so that there is another perspective that people can also enjoy that you have given to them trust me there are lots of creators doing a lot of things but there might be something that is missing that you feel your community might need and you could be the voice that could add on to what that creator might have missed and your community would be expecting that from you and would truly appreciate you for sharing your voice on that matter so they can see things in a different light Another way you can also come up with content ideas is to literally experiment and mix up different formats. If you stick to one way of creating content, trust me, it was, it's going to limit you and the way you create your content. So instead of trying to create content monotonously, you should mix up your styles of creating content. One way I love to do this is by doing two things together in one video. So instead of doing a get ready with me where you just do the get ready with me without doing anything, you can attach a different topic onto it in the form of a voiceover. For example, you can have a get ready with me, but the voiceover can be you sharing some things that you have started learning lately or some changes that you've made to things that you do to achieve certain results or maybe lessons that you have learned since you got to a certain age or year or things you wish you knew earlier killing two birds with one stone because she they are because you're giving them a get ready with me content they're seeing you get dressed up or they're seeing you do some makeover but then you're also sharing valuable tips in the background in the form of a voiceover so you mixing up your content forms is a very great way to deliver content and make it much more refreshing and exciting stop creating content from scratch yes i said it. you don't always have to create content from scratch it's the main reason why you keep on getting burned out all the time because you feel you have to create everything from scratch 
start repurposing your content that is one way to get content ideas and trust me i do it a lot of the time so many times we feel like our audience has already heard what they want from us and they are not willing to see content that we've already created again but one thing i always tell my clients that come for one-on-one -on -one consultation with me or one-on-one -on -one content calls with me is there is nothing wrong with saying something again it's only wrong if you are saying it the same way because people only see something as repetition if it's done the same way again. But then if you do it the same way, but then you deliver it in a different way, that is when it becomes repurposed. So you can already have content forms that did well and you can put it out again, but then restructure the way you bring the content. You can change the hook, you can change the intro, you can even change the way you delivered the content. So instead of just creating it the same way before, switch up the way you created the content. For example, if I made a video that did so well, I would sometimes change the hook, how I worded the caption, and then post it as a new video. I will sometimes switch up the level of editing. So if I had like different scenes, I would switch up the scene so that it gives you another perspective of how things would look like. And this is why I always advise filming like long pieces of content and not just filming bits and bits and bits. That way you can chop up these long pieces of content into different content forms. For example, if I have a get ready with me video, I can make like five pieces of content out of that video. The first part of the video where I have the before and then the after I can be one single piece of video. I can also break it down again into just a part where I was doing something that made my outfit fit better or a particular outfit hack that I do to make my clothes look good and that can also be another video. I could compile all the series of get ready with me that I've done and make it an outfit compilation video or an outfit of the week compilation video. There are so many ways in which you can repurpose your content. You do not always have to create content from scratch. Look at the already existing content that you have and see how you can talk about it in different ways. Once again, it's never the same, but it's the delivery that makes it different. Now, it would shock you how repetition is very important to humans because you might think someone hearing something over and over again is bad but trust me the principle of constant exposure is very important because the more time someone sees something is grounded in their system if you really want to build your personal brand Build the habit of repurposing your content. Talk about things that matter to you. Talk about things that you are passionate about. But then talk about it in different ways. But still keep the same elements that you have in them intact. If you're ever stuck with content ideas, just know that you can always collaborate with others. Now, this is one thing that I hardly do that I should be doing more. But collaborating with others, especially people that have similar interests as you or people that you have mutual followers or community with, it's going to go a long way in tightening the relationship you have with your community. Because trust me, your community is going to be so excited when they see that you have paired up with another creator that creates similar content or another creator that they also enjoy watching as well whose content is just like yours too so collaborating with other creators is also one way to sort of mix the audiences that you have together so that they can also ex they can also experience both of you in their own way and this is also one way that you can connect with your audience more so go to a fellow creator that you admire or someone's content that you enjoy ask them if they want to collab with you and then you can create a collab post and now it's even easier because you now have the collab feature where you can tackle the accounts and then it can be shown to both of your audiences and that is one great way to create content that your community would also be excited about now there you have it these are some sure for your ways to spark your creativity and come up with engaging content ideas let me know which one was your favorite comment below which one you're going to try and ask me any questions that you have below i'm going to answer them in my next video let me know if this video was helpful in the comments below and if you watched this point leave some fire emojis and attach them to your comment too as well if you found these tips helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on my content series Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, darlings.